Congratulations, guys. Unbelievable work. Thank you. I got to ask, uh, you know, what's it like for you to, to separate kind of, I hate to see your day job from, you know, your amazing score work. And uh, also, are we going to see uh, uh, any more, um, you know, Nine Inch Nails stuff coming up the pipe soon? Yeah. Um, Ten years ago when we did Social Network, which is the first film that Atticus and I worked on, um, it was such a great experience, like six months of the most intense, positive uh we just came out of it inspired and re-energized and it was working in a medium we, had, we hadn't done before and learned so much that we felt like, hey, let's do a Nine Inch Nails record and let's go on tour. And what we've tried to do in the last, uh, since then, is break it up where we do some rock music, we come back and do some film work. We've just done three pretty big film things, Watchmen, Mank, Soul in a row. We should be on tour, but COVID has prevented that. And uh, we are planning on working on Nine Inch Nails material as soon as I, probably tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you. Our next question is coming from Variety Jazz. Variety Jazz, next question. Oh, it's Jazz. Congratulations on the win. Hi. Hi, Jazz. Hey. Hello. You are one step closer to Igor. Would you want to write a Broadway musical, maybe of Soul, or something else? I, I, I wouldn't say no. <laughs> no, I love it. Let's do it. Okay. We're going to start on that tomorrow as well. <laughs> Thank you. Next question and last question here from Jalisco Jazz. I'm sorry, Jalisco TV. Oh, what's that? Kenny's dead. Hi, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. Jalisco TV, you are live. Oh, hi. Uh, I would like to know the the effect or how much this affect you once you finish this project or once you finish every every project uh, how does this affect you when you are uh, probably like uh, taking a look back um, i mean your work i mean the, the the essence of your work and and, and the meaning that you're trying to put in it i'll start real quick i mean every, every project we try to immerse ourselves in it and we try to just do the best work we can and we hope we learn something in the process and the, ex and the real reward is doing it and knowing you did the best you could and I'm not going to say tonight sucks because it it's pretty awesome but it's not the it's not the motivating factor you know and, and for me personally we're going to wake up tomorrow the same people we were today yeah, we were last week, but it's the process, it's the exploring, it's the learning about this beautiful gift of music and how to apply it and how you can express it. John, that's my take. I think I, I learned or uh, reaffirmed the, the fact that your collaborators, the people around you, the people who you have the, the pleasure of, of trading information as we all accumulate information on the journey of life and music is life so I, I look at them as one and the same and just kind of seeing how that transpires in the next project you take on and transpires in the next moments in your life I, and this will definitely be something that will resonate till the day I die this collaboration the, and working with Pixar obviously working with Trent Atticus the whole scope of it over two years was um, beyond I'd just like to add to, to your point about the very end, how does one feel? What was interesting about this film was it was a film that asked us as composers to reflect on essentially the meaning of life. And when this film landed was at a point in COVID and I think that one of the few good things about COVID was it was kind of a transformative period where a lot of people were able to look at their lives and examine what is really important and what isn't. I know that was part of COVID for me. And soul speaks to that. So when you talk about the end of the project, watching that film on Christmas Day, 
with 20,000 a day coming up in LA. It was a, it was a pretty moving experience. Thank you, and congratulations to our winners. Thank you.